In this video, I'm going to talk about the if function in Microsoft Excel. What is the if function? The Excel if function performs a logical comparison between two values or cells containing values. The function evaluates if the supplied condition satisfies, then return an output value depending on whether the result of the condition is true or false. In particular, the if function is an inbuilt conditional function that returns a value based on the fulfillment or non-fulfillment of the supplied condition. For example, let's say if a function uh, compare two values whether the value, let's say, cell A1 is greater than cell B1. If the condition satisfied, the result will be true, and otherwise it will be false. The working of the Excel F function is almost similar to uh, a properly structured flowchart. As you have seen here, now, in this, uh, cell, in this slide, you can see that there is the start of the flowchart, and there is a condition. So this diamond shape is showing the if condition, and if the value is false, the left side will be executed. If it's true, the right side will be executed. We can also extend the logical test functionality of the if Excel function by combining it with other logical functions such as OR, AND, and etc. Now, look at this operators here. We have many operators that we can use with the if function here, and the top is equal, and the less than, and the less than or equal, and greater or greater than or equal, and that the not equal operators that we can use. Now consider this uh, this table here. We have the student grade and we have the, the result. Now I want to use the if function, so I write if here. Now the first uh, parameter that we want to give is the logical test. So I check that a1 is bigger than 55 or bigger than uh, 54. Then what should it do if the value is true? This condition is true. If a this grade is greater than uh, 54 then it should say passed. Otherwise, it should give the value of fail. Now, we drag this to, to the bottom. As you can see, these three are passed because it fulfilled the condition, because the value 55 is bigger than 54, that's why. But 44 is less than 45, that's why it said failed. Now, we want to do a little bit more uh, of conditioning. We can use this conditioning. We can use it, uh, or we can change it. Uh, differently, let's say if the value is bigger than 70, then it should do something else. Let's say uh, we say passed with high grade, something like that. And if now if it is bigger than 70, that it should do something like that, or equal to 70. Any values containing any value 70 and upper values is passed with high grade. And else, now in this else, we can also add another if. Let's say I write another if here. So if this condition is true, then this text will be shown. Else, this part of the, this if will be run. Now, we can give another logical test if, let's say, if we say that uh, if this a is equal or bigger than 55, then uh, this should give this text. The result should be the text inside this double quotation, which is passed, but not with high grade. And else, it should give the and show the failed text to to us. Now, as you can see, we use two f. One f here in the else part of the f. I use another f that check for a higher value than. Now we use another f inside the second part. If the value is false, then it uh, should run this f here. So it will also check for values above 55 and or f equal to 55. So in this way, if it is 55 up to 70, then it should show a pass. Uh, if it's greater than 70 or 70, then it will show the pass with high grade. Uh, otherwise, uh, any value less than 55 will be shown as failed. So now we press enter. As you can see here, we we have the, the function here. So this function is uh, written here. You can see it in the formula bar. Uh, and we drag it to 4. Now these two are above 70, so it's show Pass with high grade, then 55, then we have this 44. So if I change the value from here to 56, it will definitely change to the value that we want. Let's say I put the 69, and it will also pass. But when I enter some, a number like 78, then it show a pass with grade. So if I enter 33, then it show fail. So in this way, based on these values, it do something. Based on the condition that we're given, it do something with the result cell.